Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 77 of Persona 4. Now we get to start chapter 7 and possibly go through the end of this entire godforsaken dungeon. But first, we have to get through chapter 7, which as you can see by the orientation, is a switch puzzle. As in, it's a puzzle that switches your direction whenever you step in a certain area. And I'm not doing this because of the fact that I'm wandering around. No, that puzzle, every time you heard a click, just switched. And whenever it does, I get redirected. By the way, new enemy, Protective Fuzz. Protective Fuzz is weak to thunder. However, don't, and I repeat, don't use... Well, you can use physical attacks, but they aren't going to do too much. I thought these were the ones that reflected. No, that's somebody else. But they will reflect ice against you, I think. Hold on. No, let me, let me make sure. Ah, no, they don't. They're actually... I think they're resistant to win. That's what it is. So on that note, let's grab uh, Queen Mob. Might as well, because Mazia Naga for the win. Yeah, I definitely need some more SP. Well, at least we took care of one of the uh, protective fuzz. The other two are going to be beaten within a half inch of their lives. So on that note, that's one enemy down and a few more to go. And now, we got Yosuke at level 34. I mean, 36, sorry. What am I saying? She is at level 35. I mean, right now we're at the right uh, level to beat up Shadow Mitsuo. But, again, we're going to need a Persona with a Dying spell in order for it to actually do some damage. I think you can make the... Oh, God. I just switched again. All right, this puzzle. Forgot. I think you can make Persona with Dines, but that's the point. Point of the matter is, you'll need them for the final battle with Mitsuo's um, Shadow. More on that in Part 78. But for now, we're disorientated. And as you can see, I am uh, constantly getting ambushed because the computer... Not the computer, or should I say... The shadows attack me, and the camera gets disorientated every time you try to turn the switch. See? The camera will redirect, and you have to fight with this camera. That's why I hate this dungeon so goddamn much. So, it will lead you around in circles, and... The disclaimer was not kidding when I said that this dungeon will force you to inadvertently skip the mid-boss. Yes, you have the potential to skip the mid-boss and be trapped between chapters 10 and chapter 7. Do not leave this chapter without beating the mid-boss. Oh, by the way, leading idol. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. It does say she's resistant to all-out attacks. So on that note, you want to know how resistant she is? You'll see. You get a successful all-out attack, and it barely does anything. So then, I guess Tentafuru is going to be, well, Tentarafu is going to be used. And it actually works. Wow. Well, it's not resistant to physicals, it's just more on the lines of all out attacks barely do anything to it. So let's keep the pressure on and get barely any points. But this isn't the only enemy where all out attacks will fail. I do believe there's a basalt in a later stage that actually is immune to all out attacks and I I do believe there's a rainy day enemy that's immune to all out not immune, but um resistant to all out attacks. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Not immune. Ha! 
two more, and Risei will get her third eye. And that will track all the enemies in the stage. Hands down. I don't know if it'll complete the map. I think Golden will have it to where you'll be able to complete the map once you get her abilities through um, her social link. God damn it, turn around, you idiot. You'll have to manipulate this um, floor in order for you to get to where you need to go. I don't want to go in the dead end, damn it. I want to go this way. But I don't want to go into the uh, next room. Alright, next up is Ardent Dancers. These guys are only weak to fire, so just blast them with fire and be done with it. I have Uriel, and that's only going to be for now, because I'm going to get Uriel out of my party. Well, I think we cleaned up house here. Ardent Dancers are done. Alright. I should have left the list of Persona at the end of this, and I am, so here it is. There's a list of Persona you could possibly get that you haven't already fused yet. Yeah, I still have that fusion video to make. God damn it, I need to work on that. But, there's one thing I can say that this floor supplies. A chess key. Because they know that without a chess key, you will not be able to progress to the boss. That is stupid gameplay. Atlas knows this. And thankfully, it doesn't do it ever again. But this is the room we need to go to. Alright. I need to change up something right quick. Or rather, let's see. Um, I'm not going to use a stuff soul. We're going to use... We're going to switch up Persona. Um, I don't think I need Genbu. So, let's see, who should I use? Probably Oni. Yeah, we'll just lay the smack down with, him on it, with Oni. So, let's get started. And, through the door we go. And soon we'll be seeing our boss. Killing Hand. Um... This thing is not hard. It just summons another monster. And for the record, you've seen this thing before. In fact, it's in Kanji's dungeon. Yes, the mid-boss of this stage is a boss in Kanji's dungeon. No, not a boss, but rather a normal enemy in Kanji's dungeon. So, how this works... You need to use um, Yosuke to stun the enemy. And then after you do so, or should I say, um, dizzy the enemy. And after you do so, the enemy's going to be dizzy for quite some time. We just need to do enough damage to hurt a uh, kill hand, or killing hand, so that it will not uh, get healed. Ooh, that actually worked. That actually worked. I'm hoping for a critical so we can end this. And here I am trying to power charge to an Atom Smasher or a Rampage so I can end this fight really, really early. But this fight is not even hard. If you've beaten Killing Hand before in Kanji's Dungeon, then this is not a hard fight at all. It's the fact that it has absolutely no weaknesses, and it nullifies light and dark, so you can't insta-kill it. You can, however, kill um, 
almighty hand because it's going to keep reviving, or should I say, keep healing, killing hand. Yeah, he's going to summon another one. But if you actually defeat him, he's not going to get that chance. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Defeat him and wreck his shit. Ooh. I only got one. Yeah, I kind of have to heal up. Alright, Chie, it's all on you. Finish it. And he's done. Huh, not bad. Didn't do too much damage. Got us enough experience points, though. Fantastic. And Yosuke's at 38. Let's see. Anyone else? Oh, nope. Nobody else. Good. So, on that note, we're going to have to go get that chest. Because once we actually beat the enemy, the Orb of Darkness is ours to take. And if, like I said, if you don't have a key, guess what? You're not going to be able to proceed past Void Quest. And you'll have to come back later after you get a key. From the Fisherman. And that's why I hate Void Quest. At least they were gracious enough to give me some chest keys. Now... Nauto's Dungeon? You have not one, but two items to find. So bear that in mind. Let's see. Hopefully I can actually finagle this room to go to the position I want it to go. I want to go up. I said I want to go up. Oh man. I didn't want to be hit. I wanted to go up. Ah. <sighs> Damn it. This stupid room. Oh, dead end. Yeah, I wish I could turn off this damn room. I forgot how... I don't think you could do that, but I wish I could. Oh, wait, no, there's the entrance right there. Ah, too bad. We're gonna have to deal with Amherst Bambino. They're weak to fire, but they all have physical attacks, so be careful. And they do tend to buff themselves up, too. On that note, I guess Uriel is going to be the best choice. Because I'm going to nuke them off of the face of the planet. That will be the only option. They don't summon, but they're way too strong for a party of our... Well, they're not really too strong. They just do some heavy-hitting attacks. And here we go. And with that, Avarice Bambino is down. And now Chie is leveled up and now has learned Black Spot. We're gonna need that, so I guess we can get rid of Gale Slash? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Gale Slash. No, Assault Dive. We're gonna get rid of Assault Dive. Fuck that. We're gonna get rid of Assault Dive and put it to good use later on in this game. Alright. And this door will be going over to Chapter... Oh god, I just stuttered for a second there. And the worst part is, this was a dead end. The other side was a dead end. This stupid switch puzzle maze was a goddamn dead end. And I basically would have been trapped if I didn't know what to do on my first going. Well, now I do. And on that note, we're on the 8th floor. And he's bragging about killing Mr. Moroka. He was tempted to run, but he didn't. And he's 
thinking that had made him cool. And also, he did this by getting attention and fame because nobody pays him any attention. And the more we go on, the more I hate Mitsuo. So whatever the case, folks, the only reason why this part is like 30 plus minutes is because of the fact that I went back to try to get as many treasures as I can so I could get something, anything that could help my characters. Like any sort of armor. Because goddammit, we're going to need it. Or any sort of item. Because we're definitely going to need it. Considering the fact of what's coming in part 78. He's not hard, he's just annoying. And I want to try to win on the first try. Yeah, I know. But you have the game on easy. I understand that. But you know something else? When you, whether you have it on easy, normal, hard, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the only thing that happens that changes is the fact that you get less experience with higher difficulties in this game. So, why exactly is that such a... That's not really a challenge. That's actually bullshit. Cause it, it's because this game is based off of SB... Uh, management and oh god that was enough that was something you didn't want to see close up but anyway this game is based off of sp management and yet you have to grind in order to reach the level that you need to be oh look another enemy let's kill it oh wait that was something we already beaten and it had an emergency enemy too so let's see what we got here Ooh. Yes! That's what I was looking for! So let's get rid of this battle camisole and put the charm drape on her. Perfect. I mean, yeah, the battle camisole will uh, not be as... Okay, actually, the battle camisole was effective for Chie, but now she's got herself a more powerful... um armor. I mean, it won't help her later on due to the fact of who we're facing in the next part, but still in this current time we actually have what we need when we need it. And I lucked out on that. I seriously did. But look at my SP. I practically used the ball on my SP because most of these enemies that I fought are either damage sponges or SP sponges. And I'm tempted to go to the next floor because there's probably not something any in here at all oh wait no there is Welp, and we found it we already beat this thing why are we here all oh, right the enemy has platinum dice see leaning item because leaning idol sorry can summon platinum dice oh let me try this again without stuttering Leaning Idol can summon Platinum Dice if she's the one that's ambushing you. If not, then you could get the drop on Leaning Idol. But for the time being, Chie is going to kick the dice out of this dimension. I was hoping she didn't kick the enemy out of dimension because of the fact that she did do that last part and... Well, not last part, but the part before, part 75... And I'm still not going to let that go. Seriously, she kicked the enemy that was down. Nonetheless, we just need to do as much damage as we can. I'm tempted to just use my buffula and just call it a day. One more time. And that takes care of the enemies. Alright. I do believe we're almost done. With chapter 8 at least. Let's see what's in here. It's a chess key. Okay, fantastic. I think this was to actually make sure that you have a key to unlock the chest in chapter 7. Same here. 
I'm pretty sure those keys were made primarily for you if you skipped Chapter 7 and came up here. But sometimes they change. They don't be chess keys. Sometimes they actually be other items. Or the Reaper. And why am I going back? Oh, I think there's another way to go. Let's see what's back here. I'm not trying to complete the map. I'm trying to find items. And there's a dead end. Ew. I hate dead ends. But I'm going to go straight to Chapter 9. And when I do, I'm not going to cut things off. I'm just going to stop for a minute because it is hot in here and it's so hot that it may overheat my computer. So I will be right back. Oh man, I just can't wait for Wednesday. I'll be so welcoming to the cold. But with that said, we're getting closer and closer to that boss. As you can all hardly see, it seems Mitsuo is fighting against himself. Oh boy, I'm not gonna like this. Now, now, before anybody says anything, yeah, still fighting with the teeth cleaning after effects. So that's why I sound like this. And spoiler warning, it's gonna get a little bit worse after I finish cleaning the rest of them. But, at the same time, we might as well talk about what's going on on screen before I continue. That right there is Protective Rexy. It's another uh, enemy that is basically going to take normal damage from everything, so you just don't waste your magic on it. You could beat it up if you want to. However, bear in mind one thing. When you do, it's going to put up either a Tetracarn or a Marakarakarn. Can't get that name right to save my life, but he's gonna put one of those two up to protect itself from the next attack. So bear that in mind. Now then, we just need to lay this ample beat down on the rest of these guys. And I was hoping Chie would actually kick the cat out of existence because having him putting one of those Tetra cards is a pain in the behind. Not going down. Well, I guess Ice will have to do. It's gotten to the point where even Teddy's running out of magic. God, when I get myself enough money to deal with... to get Victory Cry? Oh, because I already have... A, um, yeah, see what I mean? After have seeing the attack enough times, if the next attack is going to be a, a physical, he's going to use Tetracard. But anyway, as I said, I am already have, um, wait, I don't think I have a uh, Trumpeter with Victory Cry. But if, it, but if I do, I'm definitely going to use it. And again, Trumpeter is one of the things needed for, um, well, at least a Trumpeter with Mind Charge is needed for Congrats. Margaret's Social Link. I had to think about that for a second. And we still need to do Margaret's Social Link, too. If I have enough money to do that. Meaning I'm going to have to do some Social Links first to get the money to do Margaret's Social Link. Which is why everybody waits to the last minute to do so, because by that time, Judgment would have at least went up a couple of levels in Social Link due to the storyline. Whatever the case, we're running into another enemy. This is the Beastly Gygus, another enemy that takes normal damage from other attacks. So on that note, kind of wish I had a... Magia Dolan, I really could have used that. But I will warn you, while they themselves don't have like a natural repel, they do have counter in their moveset. 
So sometimes it will go off and the counter will end up hitting you in the face. So bear that in mind when dealing with the uh, beastly Gygus. <laughs> he actually tripped. Oh, there's two of them. All right, Teddy, just take him out, man. So far, it looks absolutely freaking hilarious of that happening. So let's end this right here. Let's end this guy. Hey, he slipped and fell on her ass. Wow. Um, okay. I think we're never going to let that one live down, too. Oh, we will. It, it, accidents happen. I mean, Yosuke's slipping on his ass all the time. But that's not the point. What of the matter is... We've got Sarasvati at level 32. We only got maybe three more ranks before we even need Sarasvati. And we're going to get a better Priestess Persona. I can assure you that. At the same vein... We're getting closer to the end of Void Quest. And there's the exit. So let's check and see if we can get any more chest items. Hold on, let's make sure. Uh, I really don't want to go there, but... Ah, screw it. I'm going to end up going there anyway. Um, know what? We might as well just chance it. We'll run into something, but... I have... There is something we need to actually show off here anyway. And that's Scarlet Turret. It's resistant to physical, so guess what you're going to have to use? Magic. Yep. Like I said, magic sponges. All of them. Although it will suck, however, that... I'm practically out of magic by the time I'm done with this fight, but it's okay. All I need to do is just weaken it. And by the way, if you're wondering what's happening with the sound, I think my AV cable's dying again. That's pretty much what's happening. Oh no! That thing's gotten focused. Okay, here's the gist of this thing. It focuses and then aims for a weakness because it learned, I think it has, um, Agia died. I know I think it does. Or was it, um, Agilau? I'm trying to remember. No, Agilo, sorry. But it's probably got Agidai. And if it does, then it's obviously going to hit really, really hard. Well, I guess I can use Gale Slash. It's not going to hurt me. Um, well, actually it will, but uh, not going to hurt the um, SP too much because I'm pretty much out of it. Oh, yes, it does have a gift. Oh, shit! Oh! Look how much it did to Chie! Jesus Christ! So, yeah, bear that in mind. The tank with that guillotine. Yeah, that's not good. We need to take this thing out now before it actually one-shots the player, forcing me to use another Moon Sukubame, and I don't want to do that. And I keep forgetting resistance to physical, but that's what happens when you have literally no magic. But that's okay, we finished it. And I leveled up to... I leveled up Ares, I only leveled up Ares, I didn't level up myself. I'm going to have to change my Persona lineup up again. And I'm going to need to get some more money to do that. Alright. We can go left, or we can go right. What's in here? Nothing. And there's nothing here. So, will this place troll me? Is there going to be... Oh, there's an enemy right there. Of course. And we get past him. Because that was already a fight I've already finished. Let's see. Treasure chest and we've got a flame pin. Okay, you've wasted my time. Let's go over to... End game. Which is basically chapter 10. And we're going to call it there in part 78 
it's arguably one of the worst battles in the game, Shadow Mitsuo. And I'm going to be well prepared by switching up my lineup for this battle. Because I've already got enough Persona to do that from the previous game. This is Man 985 I'll see you guys in part 78 where we deal with Shadow Mitsuo. And God, I hate this stupid dungeon. But you already know that. See you guys next time.